And here is Yulia Lavrenchuk of Ukraine. Finished 11th Yulia at the Olympics in 12th place after this short program. She was ninth last year at World, so this has not been a good year for her. Now she, I've seen her skate absolutely brilliantly, and then I've seen her skate and just mess everything up. I think we were seeing a very up and down quality with all of the ladies today. See, Tanya Kwiatkowski still leads in terms of those that except, have skated except here. Except for Tanya Kwiatkowski. Right. She needs anything. She needs this. She needs this triple lutz. Now watch the reach back. Uh, not far enough. Not far enough. But at least it wasn't a disaster. Julia twice has won the national championship of Ukraine. She's kind of going back and forth with Yelena Lyashenko, who is in the final group of skaters that we'll see next. There's a loop. Ah, there we go. Line camel spin. It's been interesting with this, almost the entire group of ladies, with the exception of Tanya Kwiatkowski, have had very straightforward and relatively simple programs. They've not been complicated with intricate dance moves. That's probably because they have so much requirements of difficult triple jumps that it makes them possible to do. That was that, sorry for that. <laughs> there. You did frighten me for a moment. Well, do you remember in the short program she did the same thing? Her feet were absolutely sideways on the touch, on the Lutz and the Topek mm -hmm. point of view. And that's why she fell there and just salvaged it here. And you mentioned the requirements. And there are there aren't required elements like in the short program, but there almost could be because every judge looks for what triple jumps skaters are able to pull off. Oh yes, there are required elements <laughs> in the free program. <laughs> very specific ones, two different sets of dance moves, certain numbers of jumps. It's almost like a short program. Right. It's just that we don't publicize it. <laughs> in fact, there are so many required elements in the long program, the skaters really don't have chance to be able to get in and create something choreographically interesting. There's no energy or time to do that. Very difficult. Good centered spin. Doubling it. Combination spin. That's a nice position. Julia Lavrin shook of Ukraine in 12th place, trying to move up. Our live coverage of the ladies' free skate continues with Michelle Kwan and the top contenders when we come back to the World Figure Skating Championships presented by MasterCard after this from our ABC stations.